Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up full authentication in your React Native Expo app using Clerk, including email login, Google login, and protected routes. And this is the login page. And sign up page can create the account. create account. We get a verification code and use this verification code. Verify email and sign in. And can also use email and password to sign in. and Google sign in. And also sign out. We will go step by step to integrate clerk, protect their pages and make sure only login user can access the tabs and the private content. So if you are building a React Native app or want to add a secure or more than auth, this guide is perfect for you. So let's jump right in. Create a folder. rn-expo. Open terminal. Create expo app at latest dash e with tailwind CSS dot npx expo start. Press I to open simulator. And it has error. So this error is the worklet uh, error. So because expo upgrade, so run this command. Run this command. No cache. Press I. Open again. And it's done. Very nice. Set up the roads and the pages in app folder. SRC app folder, create a folder, app. In this folder, create a file, underscore layout.tsx, rnfe, layout. And uh, in this layout, that is the layout for the app folder. And uh, in this app, we cr uh, create a sign in the TSX RNFE. 
sign in page and also sign out page. And uh, in this app, we create another folder called tabs. In this tabs folder, create a underscore layout dot TSX RNFE layout and uh, index TSX. and the profile so there are three layouts the first one is this one this is the root layout and in the root layout we need to add our clerk in this and this is the second layout we need to give a stack here and import stack. So this is the layout in this folder. It means if stack protected uh, and the uh, stack is protected Guard is is sign. If is sign is true, we go tabs. If is sign is false, we go this. It means if user is sign in, we go this. If user is not sign in, we go sign in and sign up page. So this is the layout in uh, in this folder and protected the roads. And the third layout is tabs. And the second one is profile. So we refresh. We delete this index. Now we should go into index here and uh, tabs can go profile. If we set this is false, we should go sign in and sign up page. And the next is clerk, we set up clerk. and create the application react native expo dash one use email and google create the application and choose expo follow this doc so first this npm install And uh, copy this key, create a folder, uh, create a file, dot env dot local. 
paste this key and save and close and next use clerk provider to wrap the first layout use clerk provider to wrap the entire tree and import clerk provider this is a, the root layout the first layout and uh, install this one this is for token cache so the user only need to log in one time and the second time no need to log in rename local restart And in this layout, we, now we need to use use auth from clerk to check if the user is signing in. And if it's loaded, if it's loaded, we we'll give it loading. If user is sign in, we go tabs. If user not sign in, we go sign in and sign up. And next is sign in. A sign up dot TSX. Copy this file. Go sign up. Paste it. And uh, this use safe area view. This one save. And sign in, copy the sign in page, paste it. Safe area view. Okay, so from from here, and save. Now we got sign in and sign up, sign in and sign up page. That's it. So first sign sign up, and uh, six at gmail .com. and the password. Continue, and we got a verify. So to verify, we need to add some style. Verify your email, okay. Okay, safe area view. Okay, and we get this verification code. And copy and paste it and verify and we log it in we go index that's it and uh, in index I gave it a safe error view good and in profile same same
And in profile, we need to add a sign out. So we use auth from clerk and get a user from clerk. And then we create a function handle sign out and alert on price sign out. That's clerk sign out. But, and then we use a touchable opacity and then icon save and in profile we should have a sign out button if you click sign out we can sign out and then we can sign in use email nice so this url clerk docs guide development custom flows authentication oauth connection here this truth expo and guys and the connection and uh sign in copy this components create the components and google sign in and paste here but this uh, this is a page. He gave a page. Expo one user expo function page. No, it's not page. It's uh, Google sign in. Expo default function, and uh, we no need rotor push and the return view button sign in with google on price save this file and go sign in google sign in import components google sign in. save this file and we got this sign in with google nice And sign in, come in, home and profile. That's it. Yeah. Why not use rotor push? Because we use layout to push, push to tabs or push to sign in and sign up. And uh, we give some style for sign in and sign up page. And for sign up page, Sign in. 